stop procrastinating and just do the damn thing. All right. I don't want to do this show. I can think of dozens of other things I would rather be doing right now than this particular topic once again. So yeah, this is a continuation from the last show. So why am I doing this if I don't want to? Because, well, I'm about solutions. And if I don't have solutions, I like to reach out to a community of people who just might be able to come up with a solution. So let's talk solutions. This is gonna suck. Let me be honest here, I have procrastinated this episode for as long as I could. The reason is that the discussion is not a discussion. Anita Sarkeesian has, for all intents and purposes, put gamers and gaming on trial in the court of public opinion. It's no longer a debate. In fact, some people have used the term war as a metaphor to describe it. Hence, this is why I've been dragging my heels on this episode. It seems that all the minds are made up in this matter. Extremists who shout the loudest will eventually get their way because they're the most obnoxious and they just won't shut up till they get what they want. It's a vocal minority, if you will. Which brings us back to Anita Sarkeesian. Now, Anita is... Actually, I'm gonna let her tell you. Now, I'm a pop culture critic. I am a feminist and I'm a woman. And I'm all of these things openly on the internet. So we have to go into this understanding full well that she has an agenda. But what she's done is she's wrapped her agenda inside of this fairly reasonable sounding surface thing because, well, we all know at the core, she has a very good point. But the yeah. thing is, in her video so far, she has yet to provide any kind of a solution. And in fact, a lot of her defenders have told me over and over again that she doesn't have to tell us solutions. So fine. I'll be that guy. I'll be the guy who offers some solutions. They're not going to be perfect solutions, but it's a starting point. Exhibit A, the vocal minority speaking for gaming. You can't. You can't. They're one and the same thing. This is a community that's uh, like, you know, 15 or 20 years old, and the, the sexual harassment is part of a culture. Now, as I said before, by not shutting him up, Capcom basically stated that this was acceptable behavior to them. So, with that in mind, we really need to start at the top levels of things because it's pretty obvious that some of the big gaming companies are just not connected to gaming culture anymore. I can't even block correctly, and you're too fast. There we go. Just let it happen. It'll be over soon. Yeah, good play, handing Anita more ammunition. Wow, you like those. I, no, I don't like this. Fortunately, we have a product for people who aren't able to get some form of connectivity. It's called Xbox 360. Right. Who's really the most impacted? There was a person who said, hey, I'm on a nuclear sub. Right. And I don't even know what it means to be on a nuclear sub, but I've got to right. imagine that it's not easy to get an internet connection. Okay, so the Xbox 180 decided not to go that route, but the point is the same. People at the top of the industry are honestly out of touch with their customers and to current events. Mm. Okay, two points on this. The first one came from one of the female viewers in my live stream and said it's kind of shallow when you think about it that AAA studios apparently think that male gamers can't handle a female lead character. And the second one came from another viewer in my live stream who said that he was sick and tired of seeing stereotypical minorities in video games. Now I kind of see this as the same issue because in my mind it's telling me that a lot of these studios are making games to fit a demographic. A demographic that apparently can't handle strong female leads or fully fleshed out three-dimensional black characters in video games. Can I, can I use the term black without sounding racist? So the first solution is for the major game studios. Guys, give us some credit. Risks can be taken. You can write realistic female lead characters and minority characters and we'll go with it as players. I mean, they're already doing this to some extent, but it's kind of slow going. You know, come to think of it, it'll only cost a couple thousand bucks in order to make a small indie game and prove that the concept is valid and can make money. Who, who would have a couple thousand bucks to spend? I'm just saying. So, a second thing a major studios could do. Just don't needlessly sexualize characters. One way to do this is to offer alternatives to the chainmail bikini effect. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, the higher the level of the armor, the more revealing it gets. Some games do try to avoid this, to be fair. Like DCUO, the male and female characters with the holiday elf style. Okay, that's not too bad. But then again, on other styles, yeah, I I'm not saying that I'm anti-fun. I'm just saying that some women don't want to dress their tune to look like an extra in a rap video. Just like some guys don't want to like, dress like an extra in a rap video either. Yeah, I did in fact just drop MC Hammer into this video. Well, since we're in the wheelhouse anyway, MMOs have pretty much solved a lot of Anita's problems with gaming. Women are objects to be saved? Well, not necessarily in MMOs. It's not uncommon to rescue guys as much as girls, in including Superman, I might add. 
Somehow I expected you'd be the one to take down Luther. Women are overly victimized? Well, it's about equal to guys. There's no strong female leads? Well, hell, gender's a toggle switch and missions are written to be gender neutral. The hero and I will take the holding level. Come on! But here's where I have to address the vocal minority again, as a lot of women players talk about the online experience. I'm gonna reference Fat, Ugly, or Slutty again if you want a mountain of evidence, but suffice to say that a lot of women get a lot of abuse online for the crime of being female. This has always boggled my mind, because in games like this, I tend to be gender blind. Okay, quick history lesson, so, um, get your drinks out now. I had 12 kills that I know of. In the last few decades of paintball, I've played alongside men and women. Back in the late 80s, women were teased, abused, and so on, but as time has gone on, it really became not that big a deal. It's not like another Rambo. <laughs> the reason is that on the field of play, all that matters is the game. Can you fill the role? Can you call the positions? Do you know what you're doing? And if not, are you willing to learn? After that, gender really doesn't matter. A few guys grumble about women on the field to this day, but most of us sane human beings don't see genders. We see teammates. Oh, damn. Three more seconds. I tend to look at MMO gaming in much the same way. It's all about the mission. It's all about the game. And considering that you can be any gender you want by flipping a switch at character generation, it really doesn't matter to me what the gender of the person behind the screen is. I mean, half the girls are guys and half the guys are girls anyway, so what's the difference? Just aim for him and we'll be good, man. But then again, I realize that I am weird. I also know that women claim to be specifically targeted. I'd like to share with you a story about how I accidentally became the villain of a massively online game in real life. My response is that it happens to everyone who isn't exactly like the troll. You're a faggot. Yeah. I want to shoot you right now. You just did. Maybe hang you. Oh, that's not I nice. Want, I want to hang you. That's not nice. Because you're gay. <laughs> it's not nice, but it's true. I hate uh, gay people. Or on a more realistic level, trolls be trolls, and they thrive on getting a response. Any response. So, the moment they find the one thing that needles you, they're not gonna stop. Are you gonna f***ing put me out, Shane? F*** you then! What I want saying right now, me and you, bitch! Come here! Well, on the bright side, they're equal opportunity jackasses. On the downside, that doesn't make it less annoying. I've been racking my brain trying to figure out an answer to this one, and I just don't have a good answer. Haters gonna hate, for lack of a better way to put it. But the best advice I can come up with. Number one, understand that they are a vocal minority. This is not how most of us think. If they're being abusive or harassing you, you report them. Then you mute them, and then you continue to play as if nothing ever happened. A little tenacity goes a long way. That and most of the people you're gonna run into are either gonna think, hey, cool, it's a woman that's playing the game that I enjoy, or they're just not going to care and say, come on, let's do the mission. Either way, it works. Now, there's still going to be some people in the gaming community who think that having women in the industry, women players, is a bad idea. I have a very special message for them. But not here. somebody of the opposite gender who would be actually interested in something that they do, especially something this geeky. Or what, are you just afraid you're gonna get beaten by a girl in a video game? Oh yeah, that makes you look so much better by beating up a girl before she has a chance to beat you up. Oh yeah, that makes you look so tough. Oh wait, I know, it's because they've got cooties, right? Oh, no girl below. So they're gonna girl by the whole place. They're gonna make the whole place just look all girly and stuff. But they're not here to paint everything pink and put lace on everything. They are here for much the same reason that you are here. They're here to play the game. And it's not like they're asking for a heck of a lot. They're just asking to play the game. Is that so wrong? Well, maybe for some of you guys it is, but then again, you guys are Neanderthals. Get with the program. Or let me just put this a little more basically over here. You acting like a douchebag is making us all look bad. And I, for one, am really not pleased with the whole idea of being lumped in with your idiocy because oh, all male gamers like that. No, we're not all like that. And I'm really just... It irritates me. Women are playing these games. Women are in the industry. Women are writing the games that we play. Get used to it. There. I said it. I feel better. As much as I'm open to listening to other solutions, the one I can't see working is the one Anita Sarkeesian is bringing to the table. Walking up and bloodying somebody's nose metaphorically is not a good way to get them to change their behavior. If anything else, it's going to make them do the opposite instead of sheer spite. 
All she's bringing to the party is a language of hate, and that doesn't help anyone. So, what does help? Well, the idea that Xcredits had some time ago. They said that we should contact developers and ask them to give players the tools to fight this kind of behavior. I think we need to keep doing this. Every game has some kind of feedback system, and if enough of us players asked developers, please give us the tools to fight trolls, they'd start to work on it. I'd actually recommend watching their show on harassment for yourself and see what they proposed. It, it's a good starting point. All in all, this is really just a case of just not letting the vocal minority dictate what our core community is like. At our core, we're not misogynistic, we're not a boys club, and we're not exclusionary. But all it takes is one troll who's louder and allowed to speak on our behalf, and that's what people will think of us. Let me echo a sentiment from Extra Credits here, and that is that, yes, we know that there's a problem here, but it's going to be a problem that all of us need to get together and solve. And I'm talking about the designers, the game studios, the players. We all need to stand up and say, this is not us, this is not our community, and we're not going to let a vocal minority tell us what kind of community that we are. And now, just for fun, I want you to tell me if I'm talking about the Internet Trolls or Anita. I'm not saying it's trolls, but trolls. <laughs>